Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. In 1897, Bram Stoker published Dracula, a renowned novel featuring the vampire Count Dracula, known for his bloodthirsty nature and nocturnal hunting of victims. While Count Dracula is a fictional creation, many believe that Stoker drew inspiration from Vlad the Impaler, a terrifying ruler of Wallachia during the mid-1400s. Vlad III, also known as Vlad the Impaler, earned his gruesome nickname by impaling over 20,000 people and causing the deaths of up to 60,000 others during his brutal reign. Stories about him dining among impaled enemies and dipping his bread in their blood have been passed down, although they may have been exaggerated over time. The historical record of Vlad the Impaler is somewhat incomplete, but we know he was born between 1428 and 1431, during a tumultuous period in Wallachia's history. His mother came from a Moldavian royal family, and his father, Vlad II Dracul, was named after his induction into the Order of the Dragon, a Christian crusading order. Vlad had two brothers, Mircea and Radu. In 1442, Vlad Dracul, Vlad's father, attended a diplomatic meeting with the Ottomans and took Vlad III and Radu along to educate them in diplomacy. However, the Ottomans captured the family and demanded Vlad Dracul's release in exchange for his sons. Believing this was the safest choice, Vlad Dracul agreed, and his sons were held as hostages. During their captivity, Vlad and Radu received lessons in various subjects. Back in Wallachia, a coup led by local warlords ousted Vlad Dracul, who was subsequently killed in 1447. Vlad III, after being freed following his family's death, adopted the name Vlad Dracula, meaning Son of the Dragon. When he returned to Wallachia, he became a violent ruler, eventually earning the epithet Vlad the Impaler. In 1448, Vlad regained the Wallachian throne but faced opposition from Vladislav II, who had taken his father's place. Vlad successfully reclaimed the throne in 1456 with support from Hungary, and he reportedly personally beheaded Vladislav on the battlefield. Once back in power, Vlad's reign of terror escalated, with gruesome methods used to maintain control. Some historians speculate that the traumatic deaths of his family members may have contributed to his transformation into Vlad the Impaler. Accounts also suggest that he experienced beatings and torture during his time as an Ottoman hostage, possibly influencing his later use of impalement as a method of execution. Vlad's brutality extended to inviting dissenting guests to a banquet, which ended in their gruesome murders and impalement. His reign, marked by extreme violence, garnered some support from Christian Europe for his defense of Wallachia against Ottoman forces. Even Pope Pius II expressed admiration for his military feats, viewing threats to Europe as threats to Christendom. Vlad's letter, describing the killing of thousands of Turks during a campaign in 1462 solidified his reputation as a ruthless leader. The Ottomans dubbed him Kaziklu Bey, meaning impaling prince. Impalement, a gruesome method of execution, was his preferred choice, causing slow and agonizing deaths for victims. While contemporaneous accounts claim Vlad killed around 80,000 people during his rule, with over 23,000 impaled, the exact numbers remain uncertain. Hungarian forces eventually captured him in 1462, and the Ottomans launched a campaign to replace him with his more compliant brother, Radu. Vlad turned to the Hungarians for support, but was imprisoned. Little is known about his time in captivity, but in 1476, he was released and married Justina Shalagi, a relative of the Hungarian king Matthias Corvinus, who agreed to help restore Vlad to power. However, Vlad died in battle alongside the Hungarians later that year, and legend suggests his fate mirrored that of his rival Vladislav II, with his head displayed in Constantinople. Despite the horrors of Vlad the Impaler's rule, the extent of his influence on Bram Stoker's fictional Count Dracula remains a subject of debate. 
Some tales, like his supposed habit of dipping bread in victims' blood, have contributed to his legend. William Wilkinson's 1820 book also played a role in popularizing Vlad's story across Europe, and Stoker likely encountered the name Dracula through such accounts. Although Count Dracula and Vlad the Impaler share certain similarities, such as their name, Eastern European setting, and a taste for blood, there are notable differences between them. Count Dracula resides in Transylvania, whereas Vlad the Impaler ruled Wallachia. Furthermore, there is no concrete evidence to suggest that Vlad drank blood, though 15th-century pamphlets helped establish this belief.